In our last episode, we had the huge siege of defense that we were finally able to do. I did lose some fiefs, only having Legata and Saiyanon left, as the Asurai declared war, so we took the opportunity to take two castles from them. We waited for them to retaliate, as we do have a big battle upcoming. And in position they go. Now, how long do I want to wait, though? Because I'm worried that they could end up sending another army before they're done sieging completely, plus party morale. So I'm thinking I should go. They got 200 cav to my 100. All right, I better go in because, like I said, I'm worried that they're going to send another army being this close into their territory. I don't want that happening. All right, so first thing we got to do, we got to get rid of the Ferris. How many they got coming in? Is it only 19? You gotta be kidding me. They only got 19 coming in. Alright, well, that's easier to handle. Gotta wait for them, and we're gonna flank them. are taken care of we have to go do with their cab which I should go do that now uh, I'll go draw them in they're gonna turn here in just a second it's a really good position Deal with these cows. All I gotta do is take out the cab, and then I pretty much got it one. Once I took out their cab, that was it. We'll wait to take out these guys as well. That uh, Grim Reef was awesome. There, now we pretty much got them. It's just cleaning up the archers. Oh, watch out, beers.
going to back off. Ooh, he's trying to get me. Oh. Once you take care of the archers, that is... Well, the cavalry first. Gotta get rid of the Asurai Cav. It's the worst part about them. Those spirits are so deadly. I don't know how many times I have been one-shot from those ferris riding in with the speed bonus on on being a horseman with javelins they're absolutely devastating went down to almost no life but there it is and that's not that bad i only lost 146 well, I didn't actually lose, and we're going to let everybody go. Well, what I could take. I got to double check this, make sure I'm not taking other troops. Damn, they went after Sturgeons. Oh, let's see. Should I take through or prisoners? Uh, I want to hold off just a little bit more. Another level. Rob. Boy, look at that. That's nearly hard capped. I want to get, and that medicine. Oh, my word. I got to go medicine. Being nearly hard capped. There's another victory. Because I could pretty much hold them at bay. If I stay here and do this, they're not going to be able to really mount that much of an offense up in here. They only have that one town, which should almost go after that one town just to get rid of it. But that is going to put us in the line of fire, though, to have everybody else wanting to attack us. Surprised we haven't had more wars going on. We've got all of Sturgeon land plus Sanon. So, oh, and I got Legata. Another army. Oh, I wonder if that army is going to come down here. I need troops, though. The difficult part about not having a sturgeon town or castle, I know I'm getting down. I'm down to 147. And the more I think about it, the more I should go back. I need to get troops. I mean, we lose this castle. It's not... Ah, uh, they're already forming. Now I gotta decide if I do want to go, because I would honestly like to get into another battle, wear them down even more. Sorry, I gotta grab olives, dates... But they're sitting right there, and I want to be careful of that. Now the only question is how many are going to go to that army? 447 is nothing. And they got more. There's 550. There's 650. Okay, you guys can go now. That's plenty. There's another 80. Yeah, we'll try to hold him. He got right by me. Now he's going to get up with the army. All right, so we'll get another battle. How many calves this time? 148. And we lost about 10 of our calves. I can't remember how many we had. All right, let us... Oh, we got prisoners. Who owns this? Well, he's only got 35 relation. I don't have the prisoners. Okay, next one. So it's the exact same thing as before. Wow, we are nice and close. Jeez. Okay, then. First thing you got to do, take out those ferris. But we're so close, we actually can't do it. I've got to prepare. Well, let's go. They are really close. Okay, so they're not going to come in. I thought they were, but they're going to hang back over here. Let's get our guys moving. All right, we're set up really good. I took care of some of their calves. Now they're coming in. You see, they've only got a few horses left. 79. Off we go. Nice. I'll just sit right here. Oh, really good. So much that. Okay, that was better. Get out of here.
Trying not to get too close. Hammer time. Let him just stay here. Keep getting them. Yeah, they're almost done again. I got a really good. I got so lucky. Really, when it comes to this, I got those two thieves, and they put a ton of high tier troops into them. It really accelerated this game. Had I not had that, I would have had low tiers, not much gear to increase them. But I started with what an almost full army, or well, I should say party, of tier fours and fives. It was kind of incredible. How lucky I got in this game. I never really had that happen before. I think in any game where before I even got started, I was handed near max troops. Do want to get some prisoners and hand them in. I don't have full relation with that guy. So let's see who's got prisoners. I mean, I could run all the way back to my thief. Who's got what? Willowbark's got one. But as soon as I walk into that thief, though, they're going to hand over the prisoners. I'll lose them all. Willowbark, she doesn't have one. Oh, I only got two. Yeah, I don't get my third clan party until clan tier four. So if I go in here, they're going to deposit all their prisoners. But it'll get me a relation. See, there are all the prisoners. There, I got some. What I should do is I should go back. I don't have enough troops. And we're going to take the size limit and morale but yeah i should go all the way back up because i need to get sturgeon troops but yeah not having anybody in sturgeon territory although there's a castle i believe that's sturgeon yep that's sturgeon i don't have an easy way of getting troops so sadly i have to go all the way back and i should probably see what i need well it all depends on who's gonna fight i'm thinking cav but all right let's go all the way back and let's go pick up some troops 175 so that's getting close. We'll take Beast Whisperer. And I'm sure somebody had to have gained. I think it was Willowark. Yeah, Willowark. Uh, we're going to go with... Need more troops. And now we just need to recruit. Frosty is my captain. And we're going to go with Bull. All right. Now we just need to recruit troops. And so walk around from place to place. We got to get troops. And they are sieging the castle. I figured they would do it. And I actually like the idea of them sieging it. I want them to take it. We are way too spread out. We got stuff down into here. And therefore, it looks like, yeah, every single kingdom would declare war on us. However, if we get rid of this, the Asurai most likely won't want to touch us anymore. The closest they have is there. All they have left is that. We go push from here. We do, we do need to get rid of Batania first. Because I had the advantage of being able to, which I don't know if it will. all of it will start getting released by the time that this episode is out. I had the advantage of being able to edit Drat's simp campaign, which is almost exactly like this campaign. And therefore, I saw the things that he did. And this was back when the kingdom elimination mechanic was first introduced into the game therefore i saw the things that he was doing and i know a little bit differently now on what to do in a campaign like this to actually make it work and therefore it's really what it comes down to is you need to take a kingdom and they're your top priority no matter what if you're at war and they're involved you go after them that's it they're what you need to worry about because you want to eliminate kingdoms. You don't want to keep just trading feasts back and forth. And that's what he did in his campaign. You know, it's in hindsight because that was when it was first introduced and you didn't really know better. But you want to be able to eliminate kingdoms. So when, let's say it's Batania is my top target. When we're at war with Batania, you go and take them out. No matter what. If you're at war, they're your only thing. Even if you have to give up feasts, you make sure you take them out. Because once they're eliminated, you don't have to worry about them ever again. And we just don't have breweries. I don't know if I have a brewery. All right, good on that. Good. Everything is good, but really dates and beer. 
over 200 although i do have quite a bit of rain get rid of a little bit of it wait a minute what i don't know if we had to look for weapons i might have to get rid of some stuff what's this ah it's just movement speed though so i don't mind them taking out that castle they can have it and i'm almost full now on troops i gotta decide if i'm gonna donate items and max tier them which i probably should do all right, I have max troops, so where are we going to go? I don't want to fight the asteroid. Who is sieging that? Oh, they're at war with a bunch of different... That's perfect. So if we lost that. Yep, we lost that, and that goes away. The asteroid most likely won't declare war on us. What I'd like to do is take out Blandia. I think they should be my number one target because Blandia is the most powerful. Thankfully, they've been getting hurt bad, but I would like for them to go and then I don't have to deal with them again. And we might actually have one right now. Yeah, we'll make peace. Now, do they want to go to war with Blandia? Let's see what they want do. No support. Okay, so they have only support they have is with the Kuzite, which is just as bad because they have so many horse archers. And if we do, I would assume we should probably take this here. This is going to be rough. I would rather have gone to war with Blandia. I mean, I could cheat a war if I wanted to, but I don't really want to do that. I think we should go head on over there because if they want war, that's what we're going to do. So what I think, oh, there's an army. Hello, two armies. Uh, which one do I want first? Well, we're going to go, oh, where are you going? We got to go take them out. So I'm going to use my little betrayal method. But I got to be careful because they are much faster than me. So he's going to go here to recruit and I caught him. All right, so the first thing I want to do is upgrade my troops. And then when I upgrade my troops, then we are going to declare war because I'm standing on top of him. He can't go anywhere and we can attack. And let's make sure everybody wants to go back to war. Yep, we're going to declare war. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these troops, and then we're going to declare war. I have everybody max tiered, so now we can propose to go to war. Now that these guys are sitting right here, I can take them out. Boom. Ooh, we got the big boy. But yeah, you can see how much it's in my favor to defeat them. Oh, we're in a village. <laughs> Not what I really wanted from this army. But I guess that's what we're going to have to deal with. That was, well, it negates them as well. Oh, wow. I can't even get over there. Okay. They are 200 meters away. And I don't know if they're going to come after me. We might have to get all readjusted in here. And I honestly don't think they're going to come after me. I think I can move up. Oh, here come their horse archers. Goodbye. And more of them. Yeah. That's you. Uh, just go get them. Let's go take care of their cavalry. And I sent everybody to go get them. Once their cavalry are done, they're pretty much done. With archers up. Although I don't want to have them all go. I got to reset back up. I need a reset. This is a good spot. I like this. Goodbye. Oh yeah. And now we can just hit them with arrows, although we need to take care of these guys. And uh, my swing speed is getting much 
faster. Look at all these force archers. Take them all out myself. Yeah, watch the glaive. Where, where are they at? No, they're still sitting here. Alright, they come in. Get in there and get some kills. No. I got him. And that's it. Wow. Almost a 10 KDR. And we have sturgeons. So now I can start taking them so I can recruit them, which that's what I need. That is sturgeon. I've got to go get me an upgraded sturgeon chest piece i don't have one and i don't know if that's an upgrade for one of my people kind of break skull is my infantry captain all right so our war has begun with the kuzite all right lancer speech damage bonus absolutely and then you're gonna go with raise the meek get your tier one and twos leveled quicker always go with that for really any buddy that's not myself doesn't really matter what role now what we can do is we could go after this castle Actually, let's go in here, just in case somebody needs to grab troops. And then hopefully we could take this castle before they can get to us. And then we'll have a place to draw them in from. Oh, this is Sturgeon. So we could try and siege this and take it from them. Okay, this is a nice angle to be off of. I'm upside down. We built them at the same time. It's a catapult. Do I go with the catapult? Although I need skill, I should wait because I do need to get skill. And we got another war. Honestly, I'd rather go over there and take him out. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this castle that will allow us to have a buffer where they'll go after this first, but this should be a pretty quick siege. All right, that battle went eh, pretty much as expected. I didn't, I didn't even want the fee, but our guys are actually heading over to the Kuzite area, which is perfect. They go take out the Kuzite. I'm going to go deal with Vlandia. I have my two targets. Batania is number one. Vlandia is number two. When we are at war, those are the ones that I go after no matter what. I ignore everybody else. It's about taking them out and eliminating their kingdoms. Obviously, I want to take out Batania because they're the easiest and they're right next to us. And I want to take out Vlandia because they're the strongest. But it's really great right now because they're beat down. The West is really taking them out. So I want to go ahead and take that, take them out as quick as I can. And we are going to here, make sure we got troops. Now we're going to go to that castle. Now they're probably going to come over after us. I can't take troops because they are Batanian, but we're going to go push these three castles. We're going to go right into their area because we do have an alliance with Batania right now. But yeah, we're going to go take out these that 300. That's going to be a bit of a fight. Did I get 25? No, I didn't. But I'm going to take prisoners and shared XP for Cav. And by level, nope, let's go take them out. It would be nice if I would get some engineering. That's what I kind of why i wanted to do the last battle like that where i put out all my siege equipment oh they're gonna that's gonna pop back up here in a second because i need to get some engineering 
I, I could go onto a siege engine, maybe one of the weapons, but I suck at firing those things. And I'm worried about hitting my own troops, but I would think that they're going to send an army over here. Newcastle and probably him. Well, actually, I could spend the whole thing and get it all back because I have the I have the perk to where if you fail, you get all of your influence back so i just pump it up 60 for him it's gonna fail and i'm gonna stay right at 60. surprised they actually left that in the game what really shocks me is is i thought maybe they would nerf it down to like 50 percent you get back so you do spend some now as much as i want a bow i do need to put a point into here that's gonna allow me to hit 100 because you see i'm already at 58 and then we'll do this that will allow me to hit 100 because i want military planner and wall breaker so we're gonna do that and then that's fine for engineering. Anything around 100, 125, you don't really need any more than that. And we can go. We already took them all out. What did I get up to? 62. I got four points. But I'm not going to waste time. We're just going. I do need to get the ladders up. I still do need a point in medicine. I do really want one in bow because I want to use a noble bow. I want to get back to what I did before. All right, we got that up there. Now we can go hit these guys. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I am missing them badly. Shields! Shields! Yeah, it just shields glor. All shields. No, they're all sitting up there with their shields. I'm not really interested in firing if I can't hit them. Hey, watch this. Man, that guy was right off to the side. He's sitting right there. Hit my own guy. Oh, shield. Dang, the shields can't hit anyone. That's a pretty big wall, though. How did I not get him? God, that looked like a great shot. More shields. Trying to stop him. Gotcha. Yeah. Tried to do everything I could to stop him from knocking down the ladder. Yeah, we're jammed in here, aren't we? Come on. Yeah, definitely need a shorter weapon for this. Ah, they're running. I couldn't get to them. Oh, well. All right, first one down. One bad. I lost 25 people. And I do not want militia. That's for darn sure. I mean, I could donate them, but once again, it's not really my objective. And is this sturgeon? It is sturgeon. I think I actually want to take this because now I could have it as a production facility. This is my first sturgeon only place I have. And let's get it recruiting. And I want to recruit a bunch in here. I don't want prisoners though. And we'll train them down to tier three there now i do need to wait here for just a little bit because they actually don't have any loyalty therefore the militia aren't going to fight so i need to get this back up so the militia are fighting and then this is just going to really get a bunch of sturgeon troops i turned off the recruiting prisoners so i don't need to worry about prisoners being recruited just sturgeons and then i'll have a place to come back to and grab troops 